it could finally be the end for the lightning port connector and Apple definitely aren't happy about it. Apple have always had their own proprietary connectors for their products. Over the last few years, they've used the lightning port connector for their iPhones. And that is of course different to what all Android manufacturers now use, which is USB-C. However, in the EU parliament, they believe that all smartphone companies and indeed all gadget companies that use charging cables should use the same connector. They haven't yet decided which connector that will be, but the three choices are lightning, USB-C and micro USB. Of course, they will choose USB-C as that is the most widely adopted right now. The legislation has already been voted on and it was voted in favor. So later on down the line in a few months, if again it is voted in favor of, that means all companies will have to use one connector, which will be USB-C. There has been some suggestion that this legislation actually only is regarding the charging brick connector and not the charging port that goes into the device, for example, a smartphone. In that case, Apple wouldn't be affected at all. Their charging bricks already come with USB-C, at least for the more modern devices. But from what virtually every news network is saying, like the BBC, TechCrunch, Android Central, and way more, this legislation, according to them, does actually concern the charging connector that goes into, for example, the iPhone. So what would Apple's response to this be for upcoming phones? Well, they could use a different connector for Europe than they do in the outside world, Lightning for non-Europe devices and USB-C for European devices, but I think that's really unlikely. That would be an almighty headache for people moving around having potentially two different connectors for the same phone would just be a complete nightmare for customers. So if they were forced to change the connector on their smartphones, would they just go for USB-C? Well, they'd have to. Or another move that they could make is just a move to a completely portless device. We know there are loads of rumors right now that suggest Apple do want to move to only wireless charging and wireless data transfer on their phones. There are lots of suggestions that even as early as 2021, that is next year's iPhones, there could be at least one model that was just a wireless charging, wireless data transfer device. So no ports at all, and this would be supported by faster wireless charging and of course 5G and Wi-Fi speeds that would support data transfer without the need for cables. However, in the short term, of course, Apple still need to make products with ports. And then USB-C is just a very simple option for them. They already use it for their iPads and their MacBook Pros. So there's no reason why they shouldn't use it for the iPhone too. So will this affect the iPhone 12? Will it have USB-C? Laws take an incredibly long time to pass. So we could assume that maybe for the iPhone 12, this might not affect that device. It does also make a lot of sense, however, that we recently got news that Apple do want to start selling a wireless charging mat. This is not air power as Apple did ditch that. This is just a more normal charging mat for their devices. However, if Apple are to move forward with wireless charging and want everyone to start using that, eventually taking ports away, then they need to offer a wireless mat at least. This has been said to come at Apple's spring event this year, along with the new iPhone 9 or iPhone SE 2. In other news, a report has suggested today that Apple have started pre-production and trial production of this new iPhone called the iPhone 9 for now. If all goes well, then full production will start in February, meaning that the virus in China hasn't affected timelines too much, at least for Apple with this new iPhone. It seems like everything is on track and they would have enough inventory to launch the phone at the spring event, which we think is definitely coming this year. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.